this is the Watch Dog. Welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today we're going to review the Pekine Design PD 1775. We're going to start with the wrist check. I'm wearing this Welly Mark Landform series. And Greg was wearing my Ballast Big Huge Massive GMT watch. Grogo is upset with me. I took him to summer camp, and on the way, we stopped at Pella, Iowa for lunch. When the waitress handed me the bill, I told her to split the check, because since we're in Pella, we're going Dutch. All right, let's take a look at the watch. Comes in this typical Pagani Design snapper box, but look at this. If you didn't see my unboxing, it comes with a totally different cleaning cloth. It's a ivory color. So, I don't know. The... Blue Pagani Design cleaning cloth is just about perfect, so I mess with perfection. But anyway, here's the watch. Isn't that a nice looking watch? I like it. I think they did a good job with it. So if you wanted to register a VK64 powered chronograph, go ahead, get this. This Pagani design is a two-register mecha quartz chronograph with a VK64 movement. Some people say this is an homage to a main Brooklyn, but I'm not sure that I agree, as about the only similarity is they are both two-register reverse pandas with Jubilee bracelets. Also, the main is not exactly flowing with originality. It is not something I even heard of until I researched whether or not this Pagani was an homage or not. In case you don't believe me, here are both watches side by side. The Pagani is a chronograph and has pushers. The main is a multifunction and its one pusher is flush with the case. The Pagani has leaf hands, the main has doffing hands. The Pagani is 38 millimeters, the main is 36 millimeters. The chapter rings are also different. So there's quite a few differences, so I don't think this is an homage. This watch comes in two colorways. If you don't like the black, there is also blue. If you notice the blue, the chapter ring is white, where the black, the chapter ring is black. The watch is 37.5 millimeters if you measure at the bezel, but a little bit thicker, 38 at the case. 46 millimeters lug to lug with inverted end length, so it's pretty short there. So you might, you should be able to wear this no matter what size your wrist is. It's 12.7 millimeters thick, but that includes this dome crystal. Has a 20 millimeter lug width, which tapers down to 16 at the clasp. It weighs 115 grams on the supply bracelet with two links removed. Then we have the dial. The dial is flat with no sunburst effect. We have the Pagani Design logo applied up top. And then Pagani Design is printed on the right beneath the logo. Then on the bottom it says chronograph 100 meters, 230 feet. And 100 meters is plenty for a watch like this. And then you have the Rehot, and the Rehot has minute markers. And then you also, you see these little dots here? Those are little loom dots that go with the indices. And they're not very strong, though, and you'll see later in the test. And then on the dial itself, we have baton indices, and then we have uh, sub-minute markers. And then the indices, though, they're applied batons, and they are not loomed. Only the dots and the rehot are. And then we have the hands. We have leaf hands, and they are loomed. The loom's not awful. I'll sure a lot. It's a lot better than the dots on the rehot. And then we have the large second chronograph hand, and as you can see, it's misaligned. And on a VK64, there's no way to line them up. The only way to line it up is to pull the hand and reset it. And that's kind of a pain to do on a VK64 because you gotta use Loctite because of the instant snapback friction is not enough. Then we have a date at the six and then right below the date, it says Japan movement. Then we have the registers. On the right, we have the 24-hour indicator. I always thought that the VK64 would be so much better if it had a running second there instead. And on the left, we have the minute counter for the chronograph. And as you can see, the subdials do have a sunburst effect. 
This being a VK64, just press the top pusher and the large second chronograph starts ticking away. And it's kind of hard to see it though because of the, it's not a very thick hand and the back, the black background makes it difficult. Press it again to stop and this is a mecha quartz so you get that instant snap back. Then we have the crown. The crown is a screw down crown. And I don't know why they bothered because the pushers aren't screwed down. So, but you have a hundred meters of water resistance. So I guess the screw down doesn't hurt. It is a quartz watch. So you're not going to be using the crown a lot. So no big deal. And the thread action's fine. The crown's a little small though. Uh, been nice if it's a little bit bigger, kind of hard to grip. But when you go to screw it down, it catches right away and there's no, you don't feel any thread resistance, so that's fine. Then we have the crystal. The crystal is sapphire and it's domed, but I, I'm sure there's no air coating. There's a ton of reflection and because of how significant the dome is, you see a lot of glare on this thing. And oh yeah, I forgot to go over the bezel. As you can see, the bezel is smooth and polished. No big, nothing there. No tacky meat or anything on the bezel. Then we have the case. The case is good. It's brushed on top, polished on the sides. And it has a pleasant shape to it. I think they did a good job with the case. It fits nice and flat on the wrist. So I think the case is just about perfect for the size of the watch this is. Then we have the case back. The case back is fine. It's a screw down. It doesn't really have any decoration or anything. You don't really need it. I mean, it's going to be on your wrist. So it says stainless steel there, Pagani design. Then it says diver 100 meter. At least it doesn't say divers with an apostrophe S, but still I don't know why it even says diver. This is not a dive watch. Then it says PD 1775 right there. And as you can see, you got notches instead of a coinage. And that's always nice to have notches instead of a coinage. Underneath the case back is the VK64 Mecha Quartz Movement. This is made by the Seiko Group. Often it's TMI. Sometimes it's SII. And it's a uh, two register Mecha Quartz chronograph. I already went over what it does. I just wish once again it had a running second. I just prefer a running second. So I wish they would make a version that had a running second here. And I know why they did it this way because they basically took a VK63 with the running second on the bottom and took the running second out. Then we have the bracelet. The bracelet's uh, J style and it has inverted solid end links. See, they're solid. Then we have screw pins, not push pins. A lot of, it's rare to have screw pins on a Jubilee style or J style because they, they have to be so small, but I think Pagani Design did a pretty good job with these. And the, the threads of the screw pins are near, near the heads, not at the base. And then we have the clasp. The clasp is kind of odd, but I like it. It looks a lot like a Rolex Oyster style, but as you can see, it's a scissor and not an inlay. And also, it doesn't have that weird micro adjust where you have to use a tool on the inside. It's got... It's got the holes on the side, so you can use any old tool. So it's a lot easier to use the micro adjust. I mean, of course, because of that, you don't have the easy link. But I don't like the easy link anyway because it gets stuck on me a lot. So it's nice to have micro adjust like this and still have the oyster style clasp. And it's nice to have a scissor too instead of the inlay. So I really like the clasp. Here is the watch and my seven and a half inch wrist. That looks nice. That wears nice. Look how flat it sits on the wrist. And of course, being a J style bracelet, it really contours to the wrist. And that clasp looks nice. I removed two links to fit on my wrist though. So it's a little short. 
So if your wrist is bigger than eight or eight or bigger, you're gonna have a tough time with this. And, but there's plenty of links to remove to make it shorter. So you'll have no problems with a like small wrist, just a really big wrist. But I don't know about you, but with Pagai Design, I usually, I have a few extra bracelets with them that I can use the rob links or screw pins. So if you need more links, you might be better off just ordering another bracelet. Here we are in the loom room. Instead of loom baton indices, this watch has little loom dots in the chapter ring. As we speed up the time, we see that the little dots are fading fast and are already almost gone. Fortunately, the hands are much better, although they are still a disappointment. At least the hands do outshine the indices, which is too often not the case with Pagani design watches. What do I like about this watch? Well, it looks and wears really nice, very comfortable, really contours to the wrist nicely, sits nice and flat. I really like this clasp because it looks like a oyster style clasp, but it doesn't have any of the oyster style inconveniences. And I really like this case. It's just about the perfect shape for the size of watch it is. What are my grapes and groans? The bracelet is a little short, could use a few more links. And this is a gripe and groan for the VK64, no running second hand. And there's quite a bit of reflection on the crystal. Do I recommend this watch? Sure, this watch is great. It looks and wears nice and should be a worthy addition to any collection. And no, I don't think it's an homage to the main Brooklyn. I just don't, I just think it's, any similarities are coincidence. I mean, if you're going to homage a watch, are you really going to homage a main? Well, thank you for watching my review of the Pagani Design PD1775, and I'll be back with another review. I'm way behind the reviews because I was at summer camp for the week, so I will try to catch up. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this watch, be sure to use my affiliate link and I will get a small, small commission. But those small, small commissions do add up. Bye.